They have so many kinds of sushi. What a beautiful day. Hey guys, I'm in Fukuoka Prefecture near Hakata Station. Today we will explore the Hakata town. Yes, there are many nice places. I'm so excited. Let's explore. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokano. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account, especially Instagram for the live update. Alright, so let's go. By the way, this is a hotel that has the international floors. I was staying at Ho Chi Minh level. Uh, there are many different countries, for example, Mexico, New York, London, and we are departing. Yep, lobby is a departure place. Uh, let's go. As you can see, there are many clocks, like an airport. Anyway. So, let's go. So, firstly, heading back to Hakata Station. Oh, by the way, if you want to see that hotel more, please check my previous video. There is an episode number on that video title so that you can find it easily. Anyway, it just keeps straight. It's pretty close from the station, so let's go. And here we go, that's Hakata Station. As you can see, Hakata Station, it's a huge station. Yeah, that's definitely much bigger than what I thought. Well, as you see, Hakata Station, it's huge. Well, you know, I have a big luggage, so firstly, why don't we go to the hotel to check in the luggage first. Here's a travel tip. If you use the coin locker, usually it costs about 500 to 1000 Japanese yen, but if you are booking the hotel, you can check in the luggage first so that you can save the money for the coin lockers. In this case, I want to save the money, so why not? Let's go to the hotel first. We will stay in a nice hotel. Hotel New Otani. It doesn't matter with Shohei Otani, you know? She's a really popular Japanese guy right now in the baseball game. Anyway, uh, let's go to the hotel first, so let's keep walking. Hotel New Otani is not in the Hakata station, so we have to take a bus. There is a free shuttle from here. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I can find it easily. You see in front, there is a bus noriba, which is the bus stop. So, should be there. Oh wait, just check the website. It seems like it's not free. <laughs> it's okay, let's go. So I guess this is the one. Ooh, finally we arrived and I found the hotel. I think that's the one. Yep, maybe it was a nice hotel about 20 to 30 years ago, I believe. But uh, yeah, seems like a little bit old. Well, inside the hotel should be nicer though. Yeah, I booked the hotel with the breakfast plan. So I'm excited the breakfast buffet. Anyway, today we will explore the Hakata Street. So let's keep working. The new Otani. I didn't know they had that. that. Oh, look at that. It's super fancy. Nice. So let's check in. So let me place the luggage. Wow. It's pretty nice. All right, sweet. Now I don't have any staff. So let's explore the Hakata town. Let's go. So firstly, we are heading to the Bayside Street. Uh, I've never been there. Hopefully, it's a good place. And hopefully, we can find something to eat because I haven't eaten the breakfast yet, so I'm hungry. Let's go. Well, it's kind of ironical, but we came back to the bus stop. We just took off. Yeah, seems like the bus is leaving from there, so let's take a bus. 
Oh, so I see. Seems like I can check the bus over there. The bus I have to take is number 90. Uh, it's 11.29. It should be arrived here at 11.26. So just a little bit late. But usually Japan bus is really accurate. So even you're taking bus, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, sweet. So this is number 90. This is the bus. Let's go. All right, I run to Hakata Futo Station. Hi, Aizamas. So that's the Hakata Fort Tower. We will get there later after we eat something. Anyway, let's explore the place. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's nice. There is a huge aquarium in the middle. <laughs> so many fish. <laughs> Look at that huge turtle over there. Well, I remember the turtle talk at the Disney Sea, but I believe he doesn't speak though. Seems like there is a street piano in the second floor. Let's go check. Oh, nice. So here, uh, you can play the street piano. I believe in the weekend, maybe some really good people coming here to play. It's Yamaha's nice piano. Well, I want to play, but on the right hand, I'm holding my cam, so sorry, today. Maybe I can't. <laughs> well, that's just an excuse. You guys know that. Here, they have a Fukuoka souvenir. I think this is a manju. And I believe those are the cookies. Oh, look at this. It's interesting. That's a pearl gachapon. With 1000 Japanese yen, you can get the Japanese pearl for sure. All products are made in Japan. Interesting. Well, if you like pearl, maybe you can try that. All right, let's go to check the next building. So it seems like this is Ichibar, which is the market. Let me see. Oh, nice. They sell the bento. Oh, look at this omusoba, 450 Japanese yen, which is pretty cheap. And there's a microwave too. I think it's perfect for lunch. Yeah, seems like regular market. They have a veggies, bento, drinks, so many stuff. What do we have in the second floor? It's pretty quiet. Okay, so it seems like this is the restaurant. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful view. Nice. Seems like this restaurant sells the seafood. Since we came to Bay Area, why not? Uh, let's try some seafood here. Okay. Looks good. So those fish are on sale. So let's sit down. Okay. Oh, interesting. We can order from here. Okay, let me see what we have. Oh, so it seems like they have a set menu. What do we have here inside? Some shrimp, shell. Okay. Uh, since they have a sushi too, maybe we can order one by one. Shrimp. Awabi, abalone, and uh, kaki. Oh, oyster oh. and a uh, sazae. Okay, let's order for it. Also, they have sushi buffet, so we can pick sushi. 
here. They have so many kinds of sushi, all 100 Japanese yen. So, let me pick something that I like. Oh, all looks pretty good. Oh, really? They have a toro ikula as well. Oh, that shrimp looks pretty good. So, those are the sushi I pick. Scallop, shrimp, uni, which is a sea urchin. Otoro, fatty tuna, and then chutoro. Alright, so here we go. Let's eat the sushi first. All 100 Japanese yen per piece, which I think it's pretty good price. Let me try from the chutoro. Let me see if it's good or not. Itadakimasu. Mmm, oh, Well, thinking of the price 100 Japanese yen, I think it's pretty good. How about Otoro? By the way, I totally forgot to place the wasabi. Yeah, with wasabi, always better. By the way, this soy sauce is interesting, a little bit sweet. Well, compared to expensive Otoro, this one is less fattier, so it's good. <laughs> It's a good way of saying, right? But the price is 100 Japanese yen, so it's good. How about the uni? You know, the uni has totally different between good one and a bad one. Let me check if it's a good one or not. Let me see. Itadakimasu. Ah. Well, yeah, this is the one I usually eat at the Kombiya Zushu restaurant, so if you like uni from there, yeah, it's good for you. Alright, so how about shrimp? Oishi. At the end, it's scallop. Mm. That's good. Oh my goodness, this abalone is still alive. Wow. Well, of course, it's not the best of the best, but thinking of the price, I think it was pretty good. Eh? So how about those seafood? So can I just place it? <laughs> I'm a really beginner, so let me see. I believe I can just place it. Can I? Oh. Oh my goodness, this abalone is still moving. Wow. Okay. I think it's ready. Well, so I was placing it opposite way. <laughs> yeah, she let me know how to eat. So now I know. I think. I believe so. <laughs> let me see. Also, uh, I think we have to place the soy sauce for this. Okay. <laughs> so basically when the color changes, it's time to eat it. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> she told me that oyster is ready. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Avalon is ready. Yeah, that's what they told me. By the way, Avalon in Japanese is awabi. awabi. Hmm, it looks pretty good. Itadakimasu. <laughs> it must be really hot too. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not the herd. It's a little bit chewy, which I like it. And then the nice flavor. Loving it. Sweet. <laughs> they opened it for me as well with the nice dish. I like it. Let's eat. So I guess it's the soy sauce and whoa. <laughs> wow, looks pretty good. Never mind. <laughs> well, maybe this turban shell is the best so far. And for the end, it's shrimp. I know how to eat. Let's eat. 
<laughs> well, I think maybe because I overcooked it, so I tried to open the shell and then eventually the shrimp became like this. But it's okay. <laughs> Let's eat. Uh, they gave me a hold for this shrimp. Yeah. Uh, I learned that the sh eating shrimp it's hard. <laughs> Have you had the same problem with me? <laughs> Let me know in the comment down below. Itadakimasu. Uh, but maybe the cooked one is better. Anyway, that was a good lunch. Love me. That was pretty good. The price is 1,958 Japanese yen. Thinking about the seafood, which is really nice price. Because they only accept the cash, they can keep the price low. So make sure, bring the cash. If you try to use the credit card, you can't use that restaurant. So. Well, still in Japan, some place like that. So you'd better bring the cash at least several thousand Japanese yen. And since we are here, why not? Let's go up that Fukuoka Tower. Let's do it. So this is the entrance. Let's go. Bayside Museum Hall Tower. Okay, so it was museum too. 35.8. Oh, you know what? I didn't know that, but uh, this tower, it's free entrance. Yeah, you know, if it's a Tokyo tower, you have to pay money. Nagoya tower, you have to pay money. But Fukuoka tower, it's free. Sweet. Oh, here's some heads up. They open up to 4.40. And also there is no restroom and inside the tower you can't eat and you can't bring the pet. Got it. All right, let's go. And here we go. That's the observatory. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, I guess that's a boat racing place. I believe so. Unfortunately, this photo spot, due to the COVID, you can't use it. And here's the explanation. That's the Hakata Bay. Hmm, interesting. Inside the museum, you can learn the history of ship. Nice. Whew, that was good. Next, let's go to the Canal City. I heard that's a really nice place too, so let's go. So it seems like my next bus is about 12 minutes from now. As you see, there are only one or two bus for an hour, so you have to be careful. It's a nice place though. Let's get coffee. Oh. I love this beautiful weather. Small, unfortunately, it will be raining though. Yeah, there are so many raining days in Japan around this season, so if you are traveling to Japan, you gotta be careful. Finally, bus has arrived. Yeah, this is the one. 47. Let's ride on. So I arrived to Okunodo Station from here to Canal City, about 9 minutes walking. It's not that far. Let's keep walking. Let's go. So according to the map, this is the way. I found something really interesting in front of the temple. Look at that! 
Can you guys take a guess what it is? Actually, those are the ramen stall. I've never seen ramen stall parking. I see. So this is how they park in the daytime, and in the nighttime, this become a store. Interesting. Here we go. Finally, we arrived to the Canal City. Seems like the entrance is from there. So uh, let's go. So here we go. It's a uh, Canal City. Oh. It's a nice shopping mall. Nice. I believe this is like a Odaiba in Tokyo. Maybe. <laughs> oh, look at that. Actually, this is the reason why this place called Canal City. Uh, there are canal in the middle. Right on time! The fountain show had started! You can enjoy the fountain show from many places. It's a hot day, maybe the place over here would be cooler. Oh my goodness, look at that baby over there! So cute! Sweet! Loving it! It's a weekday, so that's why really less people over here. However, I believe in the weekend, it will be so many people. Especially, I heard in the nighttime, it will be lighted up and it becomes really beautiful too. Okay, anyway, so let's keep walking. Let's go. So this is a map of the shopping mall. Seems like in the center, there is a Grand Hyatt. Oh, nice. Maybe we can see the beautiful fountain shop from Grand Hyatt too? Well, if someone has stayed there and then knows about it, please let me know by the comment down. Alright, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this shop. It's an umbrella shop. Wow, so many beautiful umbrellas. They have a really traditional umbrella too. <laughs> Well, it's a really traditional Japanese style umbrella. The price is 12,900 Japanese yen. Pricey, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Loving it. Oh, there's a jump shop. <laughs> Huge Luffy figure. I've been reading One Piece since I was a kid, and uh, yeah. Recently, she changed it from rubber to Nika. Well, that was really surprising, but uh, now I love it more. It's a really fun manga, so if you haven't, maybe you should read it too. So after passing that canal shopping mall, there will be a Nakasu Yatai Yokocho, which is the food stall Yokocho. Let me see if it's open now or not, because usually those places are drinking place, so open in the night time. Oh, by the way, this is the shopping mall outside Grand Hyatt. Nice hotel. Okay, so let's go to check Nakasu area. So this is the place. Used to be there are so many food stalls, but now seems like it's all gone. Maybe due to the pandemic. I just came back to the Canal shopping mall. It was kind of sad to see that uh, that Yatai street is already gone. Yeah. Well, but thinking about the situation, it totally makes sense. Hopefully, it can come back soon though. Anyway, in the next video, you guys will see the Hakata station and also Hotel New Otani. The New Otani. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I booked a room with breakfast. Buffet. I'm so excited to eat that. Yes, there are more and more adventures are coming, so if you haven't, don't be shy to subscribe so that you will not miss the new video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan. 
big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support, I can keep traveling. And also, there's a live update plus surprise live stream over there too. So if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. So hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.